All right, guys, welcome back to Half Fast Sim 19. Just in case you guys haven't, subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe because uh, I'm home for a couple days. And uh, make sure you guys watch my grinder wheel, cutoff wheel review. So, uh, basically, what I got here is I got this plate, it's 9 inches wide by 12 inches long however you want to call it so finally gonna get to doing this project I'm gonna take the compressor off um, yeah take the compressor off clean this area up here I probably technically should weld it um, but I'm not I'm just gonna bolt it down I think um, with some bolts here so I'll probably go through this, these three bolts, screws, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I'll attach it to the outside over here. But anyway, I'm going to get it off, clean it up, and uh, yeah, I'll go from there. Make sure you check out this video for Ulsa Tool Cutoff Wheel. Alright, let me get this thing off. I'll be back. Alright, basically what I'm doing is I'm just eyeballing it where it's going to go. So it needs to go straight with the motor pulley. So just come across here until you get straight and it disappears. So that's not actually where that's going to go. But it's pretty much where it's going to go. So. This will actually go in. I'm just trying to get the plate mounted. Um, so what I have to do is I have to drill, drill a couple holes. Um, I'm going to mark this through there. These three holes. Um, one, two, three. Mark it up in there. Then I'll take the plate off. I'll drill it. Um, yeah, I'll probably mark these two holes too, and uh, then I gotta figure out that front hole. So, I'll uh, then I'll take it all apart, and then I gotta paint that steel plate. So, I'll be back. All right, guys, here we go. I'll show you what I did here. See this quarter inch plate on that little tiny, teeny, thin stuff. I got two bolts there, then three bolts there. I do need to try to do another bolt on the other side, but I have a feeler and it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get in there with a drill. So I'm going to see how this is. Plug it in, see if it blows up. Ready? Set.
as you can see, no more bouncing, no more crazy junk. So, back in its home. Right there and uh, yeah pleased with that getting the bolts everything to line up was kind of a pain in the butt but got it all done and it started dumping rain on me like crazy so I was limited on what I could paint being that it just started raining like crazy so yeah quarter inch plate does the trick if you're gonna be mounting a Harbor Freight uh, uh, pump compressor Harbor Freight compressor onto a another machine or another tank I'm just trying to see. Oh, that, that's weird. That belt says any direction. Oh, that one does too. Never mind. I was going to say they were the same belts. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Pretty solid now. So, always check to see if you got oil. Make sure you got oil. So, that's, that's the problem that I had originally with this compressor was. Um, it leaked too much oil apparently and uh, I got home fired it up and yeah it uh, it's, uh, started knocking so anyway guys that's gonna be it for this video make sure you guys check out the Ulsa tools cut off wheel and as always subscribe if you haven't comment if you want and I got a mess to clean up as usual. But anyway, one project is done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.